little girl growing up, I never dreamed about ever being a country singer. I guess that was just too big of a dream for a little girl that didn't have much, didn't have hardly anything. Singing about her humble roots is what helped make Loretta a legend. I did go to bed hungry, and um, I guess I just knew I was hungry. I didn't know we were poor. In her final years, Loretta endured many health battles. She suffered a major stroke in 2017 and a broken hip in 2018. But the following year, in 2019, she had recovered enough to attend an all-star birthday celebration in her honor. I feel great. They say to have her hair done Liz Blas. From Carrie Underwood to Dolly, Reba, and Pink, Loretta was admired by all. A trailblazer and considered country music royalty, she always credited her work ethic for helping make her a star. I think I work probably harder than anybody in the business. I've worked harder than all of them, tell you the truth. She was still making music well after she turned 80. You told me that you had found someone new. Oh, I feel great. And I love to get out there and sing, and, and the people sing as loud as I do when I'm, they're in there. And they're from, I have people from 10 years old to 80. He shovel coal to make a poor man's dollar. Loretta's life story was made into the movie Coal Miner's Daughter. In 1981, Sissy Spacek won the Best Actress Oscar for playing Loretta, even though she wasn't that familiar with her music when she got the role. She went down and she bought all my tapes. That, at that time, it was eight-track tapes. And she learned all the songs. And she said uh, she never listened to country music. She always listened to rock and roll. Miranda Lambert and Cheryl Crow also shot a coal miner's daughter music video with Loretta at her Tennessee mansion. Never thought of ever leaving, but you're holler. When this one come along, I said, now they can't talk about me, because look how country she is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll fill those shoes anytime. I'll try to. <laughs> She's great, isn't she? I'm about as old fashioned as I can be. The four-time Grammy winner had six children. Early in her career, the working mom struggled balancing home life and career, sometimes leaving them behind when she went on tour. I've given up a lot, but I've given a lot too, and people have given a lot to me. I've raised my head and set myself. But the country girl never forgot where she came from and never wanted to stop creating the music she loved. I don't even know what retirement means. I want to die with a pencil in my hand writing a hit song. A honky-tonk song. <laughs> Set the memories on the floor.